Energy immunotherapy over the past hundred or so years has been really uh, based on subcutaneous immunotherapy. So that type of immunotherapy is provided in the office uh, by a physician and um, it's been quite effective. You know, the level evidence, level 1A for uh, preventing new sensitizations, for preventing asthma. Um, it's been a proven me method of therapy. But uh, there are some limitations to it, uh, including um, the patients have to come in for regular and frequent injections and a very rare possible side effect of anaphylaxis. Currently, there is a new uh, form of treatment called sublingual immunotherapy. And it's basically either aqueous drops or tablets that are placed underneath the tongue. And that allows the patient to become desensitized at home um, to the allergens to which they're sensitive. Potential side effects are pretty mild. Uh, they include itching underneath the tongue and mild discomfort, but overall no uh, serious side effects um, have been reported and no fatalities uh, have been reported. So con compared to subcutaneous immunotherapy, it seems to be a relatively uh, perhaps a more safer form of immune desensitization. Clinical implications of sublingual immunotherapy um, are uh, pretty broad and far-reaching, I think, because it can really revolutionize the way that we treat allergic rhinitis. One in five Americans have allergic rhinitis, and only a fraction of those patients are treated with immunotherapy, only 6%. And so sublingual immunotherapy might uh, allow the treatment to be more accessible to patients and hopefully more convenient and change the way we think and treat uh, allergic rhinitis. Sublingual immunotherapy is a relatively new modality of treatment in the United States. It's been used uh, for many years in Europe, but in the U.S., uh, both physicians and patients alike are not aware that it even exists. So I think um, with increased awareness that it's available and that it's efficacious, uh, more patients and physicians will hopefully utilize this uh, form of treatment.